Hey guys, thanks for joining me. In this video, I lay tiles to a small entrance area. Follow these steps for a great result. We're going to give this floor a clean, so I'm going to scrape off any old debris and glues, whatever's landed on a garage floor in the past, make sure it's nice and clean so that when we put down our tile adhesive we get a good contact. We obviously need to measure the area that we're going to tile and source enough tiles to get the job done. We're going to need a tape measure and a pencil. We'll need a level to make sure our tiles are sitting nice and flat, a couple of trowels and a 10mm notched trowel, so this is good for spreading out your tile adhesive. A couple of buckets. I've got a mixing tool, one of those. I've just attached it to the battery drill. We're obviously going to need our cement and tile adhesive. Now there's a couple of different ways of cutting your tiles. I've got a masonry disc on my angle grinder, which is good for when you get to tricky little corners, say around this front door section. But for most of your cuts, you're going to want something that cuts a nice, true, smooth, straight edge. We can either use a score and snap style tile cutter or an electric one with a tile cutting disc. We're also going to need some tile edging. So your tiles will butt up to that finish there. But I'll show you how to install that. Oh, and I forgot to say, tile spaces are these little hexagon are not hexagon. So those are these little cross shaped things. I got three mil, but they're just a little uh, plastic insert to make sure your tiles are spaced the right distance apart. So before you start mixing up any tile adhesive, spread some tiles out in the area and see how they're going to fit. This space we've got is just over four tiles wide. <clears throat> so rather than have four tiles plus a skinny piece, I'm going to start with about a half a tile laid in here and that way the bigger the piece the more stable it's going to be and easier to lay. There we go, there's the solution to our problem. We've got three full tiles in the middle and then we've got just over half a tile on each side cut. That's going to fill the space nice and like aesthetically, it's going to look even and we've put the cut edges of the tiles on the outside. Those outsides are going to be covered by uh, skirting or architraves later on. If you're laying your tiles out like this, use your T-spaces, mark the floor, use your level, make sure everything's nice and straight and square, and that way you can make accurate measurements and cut your tiles prior to any adhesive being mixed up. Okay, lovely. Hello. Can you start sticking these in, like? And just find yourself a good apprentice who can wipe any tile adhesive marks off the tiles while it's wet. It's easier to do it now than later. Okay, what do you reckon? Great. 
Fellow Abel? Yes. Number one! So, while we do this, friends, we've got to put these little pegs in. What? Why? And it makes it all exactly the same gap. See how all the lines are nice and straight? Thanks for watching this video on how to tile. Hopefully it's given you some tips and some inspiration and confidence to be able to tackle that tiling job that you've got at home. If this demonstration was helpful, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Get more helpful to the point DIY videos like how to grout tiles. See you next time.